There have been 31 Fortnite seasons as of the time of recording this video, 32 next week with Chapter 2 Remix. Now a lot of people rank the map, the gameplay, the battle passes, but not me. Today we're going to be ranking all 31 of Fortnite's season's key arts. And no, we're not going to be talking about that one metaverse loading screen that you see when you open Fortnite during Chapter 5 that everyone hates for some reason. Did this loading screen kill your family? What's wrong with it? So what makes a good season key art? A good season key art will convey everything about a season in one image. I'm talking POIs, weapons, battle pass skins, and the general overall theme of the season. Key art for season one and two of Battle Royale did this amazingly. It showed us the chaos of a Fortnite match while showing off the building mechanics, the art style, the weapons, harvesting tools, and so much more. This key art was so good that Fortnite saw it, flipped it around, and called it a day last year. Now I'm gonna be honest, most of Chapter 1's key art suck big ass, so we're going to talk about a lot of those now. Season 3, 4, 5, and 6 were just the Battle Pass skins stood against the gradient, like, well done guys, how long did it take you to come up with that one? At least Season 6 uses purple as its color scheme because it was a season based around the cube, which is also purple. Season 4 and 5's key arts just have the skin stood there, like, Omega isn't even in the middle on this one. For Season 5, I don't know whose idea it was to look at Drift and Omega and see all those cool styles and go, nah, 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 nah. Do these ones. I don't get it, like nobody's gonna buy the battle pass for the bald Dan TDM coloured shirtless man on the cover. Again, season 6 was easily the best key art out of these 5, because it used the primary colour of the season to convey its theme, but it also made the skins look as appealing as possible by using their best styles on the key art. Well, kind of. Lucky for us, Fortnite would learn that if they kept this up, they would run out of primary colours to use. So in Season 7, they would finally do another landscape key art, complete with an Ice King with no face and an edit style of a skin that wasn't in the game. Oh no. If we ignore... that... Me, I'm here. This key art is definitely one of the better ones for Chapter 1. It reveals everything you'd really need to know about the season in one clean image without over-cluttering everything. Oh, there's a plane. Uh, and a sword. And a snow biome. Cool, got it. Season 8 also does a similarly good job. Similarly? Season 8 also does a similar. Season 8 does a, does a pretty good job too. I'd even go as far to say that it's better than Season 7's key art if it wasn't for the fact that Blackheart is using his base style. God damn it. Again, this key art kind of just shows everything you'd really need to know about the season. Like, even pets are on this. Now, Fortnite have just released back-to-back -back God key art that shows off the map, the weapons, the skins, and theme of the seasons. How do they follow it up? With more goddamn gradients. Season 9 goes right back to the old key art style of having your season's battle pass character stood in front of a void, staring staring at the camera again. However, this one is a little bit better because at least the background has some interesting colors instead of that gradient they used to do. Season X follows the same style as Season 9, except I think this one is much better. Not only because the colors are much nicer to look at, but because the background has a giant X on it, which I know a certain someone would love. Now, yes, this is another stand in a straight line and look at the camera key art, but this is definitely one of the better ones that do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a favorite key art from each chapter and then compare them at the end of the video. Now, I'm going to be honest, chapter one does not have much competition in terms of key art, in my opinion. The gradient key art just doesn't do it for me in terms of representing a season, so I'd say it's between seasons one, two, and seven and eight. And I think I'm going to give it to season eight on this one, because it just looks the best in terms of composition and overall style, but it also shows so much of the season in a singular image, while season seven and one don't quite get there. Now, lucky for us, there are no more gradients for the rest of the video, and at the start of Chapter 2, Fortnite decided to lock in and give us one of the best key arts of all time. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1's key art is simply great because it's simple, and yet it shows so much. Look at that. It shows the whole map as well as some of the new mechanics, like the boats. Even if this key art doesn't show too much of the gameplay or the Battle Pass characters, this is still easily top 10 Fortnite images of all time. Chapter 2 Season 2 gives us all of our main agents against a cool looking background, but not Peely, Deadpool, or Maya, because, you know, fuck those guys, I guess. This key art is just very visually appealing, but and it's nice to look at sometimes. I don't have too much to say about it, but it shows off the Battle Pass skins, well, except for those three that we don't talk about. But it kinda sucks at showing the gameplay of the season. Like, from looking at this one image alone, can you really tell what the gameplay of the season is? There's a sword, a briefcase, and a bomb, and none of those are gameplay items. Chapter 3 Season 3 was incredibly easy to make key art for. All they really needed to do was to find a JPEG of some water and everyone would have gone crazy for it. Instead, they decided to give us one of the coolest key arts we've ever seen. It shows off all of the Battle Pass characters, even if they are in the style of a floating head poster. They also show some of the gameplay, like the sharks and the 
even show the four tiller too. This key art is great, the colors really mix well together. Nexus War or Marvel Season 1 also gave us really nice key art. You had all the Marvel heroes against a background that fit really well, and then you had She Hulk lifting up the battle bus, and Thor and Doom were showing off their powers. And Although I do have some weird Mandela effect with this image, like, wasn't Galactus in here? This key art had almost nothing to do with the season except for the Battle Pass skins and the Sentinel Graveyard, which looks like Stonehenge for some reason. But it looks so good that I can't help but give it a positive score. Now, Season 5's key art was good, but it also kind of sucked. It did a good job of showing off all the characters in their best possible styles, except for Alexa, I guess. And the zero point in the middle and the white lines separating the Battle Pass skins really helps show us what kind of season this is, but on the other hand, it sucks so bad. Like, I feel like this key art is a little bit misleading. They have one weapon that was actually in the game, and that being Mandalorian sniper rifle, and the other gun in this poster isn't even in the goddamn game, so why put it in the poster? Season 5's key art was a really good character and story poster, but it really sucked for showing off gameplay. Like, could they not have put the lever action shotgun in there somewhere? Primal actually had a really good key art. It showed off a decent amount of the battle pass, all of which were their best styles. They also have wildlife and show off a bunch of different weapons like the bow and the primal shotgun. Yeah, take that season five. Season six doesn't false advertise to me. Too bad everyone hated it. Season seven's poster looks great and I really wanted to give it a high ranking. Except it just just straight up lie to us. Like you've got the UFO tractor beaming all the battle pass skins, which looks great. And then you've got tilted towers for some reason. What? The Tilted Towers Clock Tower was taken out of the game two seasons ago. There isn't even anything in the game that remotely resembles the place where this key art is depicting. And this might not seem like a big deal to you, but you weren't there on Twitter when everyone was expecting Tilted Towers to be in the game again, despite us having Tilted Towers in the game two seasons ago. Season 8 does this too. Like Season 7, it does a good job of showing off the theme and the skins, but it does just straight up lie to your face. There were a maximum of like 6 or 8 cubes on the map at one time, and this key art and the trailer for this season actually acts like the map would have been full of them. Seriously, the crash sites were so tiny, absolutely zero POIs got affected by the mothership crash, and instead there were like six crash sites that looked like poo stains. So Fortnite had to pretend there was more damage than there actually was by taking the time to design a location that was actually destroyed by the mothership, when in reality it was there was nothing. Yeah, I don't think I like this one very much. Chapter 2 definitely had steeper competition than Chapter 1, mainly because they weren't all goddamn gradients. But if I had to pick a favourite from this chapter, I'd probably have to go with Season 3's key art, because it looks so good while doing such a good job showing off the season and its characters without blatantly lying to you. Chapter 3 Season 1 had an amazing key art that I don't think an nearly enough people talk about because it shows off the map, the Battle Pass characters, and the gameplay in a cool way that Chapter 2 Season 1 just didn't. Like you've got Spider-Man and the Foundation flying towards nothing and you've got a goddamn giant tornado in the background like it's great. Season 2 I think has a really underrated key art because like, yeah, it doesn't look that nice, especially when you compare it to Flipped and Nexus War, but it does do a really good job at showing the war theme of the season, with the battle buses and the blimps in the background, which didn't actually do anything in the season, except get destroyed in the event at the end of the season. I like it. It's good at showing off the theme in the battle pass. But why did they use the prisoner style for the origin? Are they stupid? Next is Vibin. Now, what the hell was this? Now, Vibin was in a tricky spot to begin with because nobody knew how to market this season at all. The battle pass was filled with random characters like this chick and Darth Don't Vader. Move. Chapter 2, 3, and 4 absolutely sucked with battle pass theming, and this key art here shows it. Like, what even was this season? Like, yeah, it looks nice, but what was this season about? Like, even if they just throwed a bunch of characters in front of the giant reality tree, I feel like that would have given people a general idea of what the season was about. Next is Paradise, which is a pretty decent key art. It's very simple and basic, but it is effective. You've got the Paradigm and this guy and Spider-Gwen walking over... oil? No, I know it's Chrome, but that is not how Chrome looked in-game. Why did they make it look like that? It does a good job of showing the season's theme and some of the Battle Pass characters, but that's about it, really. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't think there's much of a competition here. I think I think it's Chapter 3, Season 1. Like, come on, it's obviously Season 1. Next, we've got Chapter 4. Now, I don't know what it is with this chapter, but visually, Epic Games decided to lock the hell in. However, everything else sucked. Season 1's key art does a great job of showing off the new map as well as the new weapons and gameplay elements, but my only question is how the hell did they get off this random hill in the space? Like, how did that happen? Mega had some great key art. It showed the skins well as some of the gameplay and new POIs with some great color. If Season 9 had done something like this, there's a high chance it would have won the Chapter 1 segment. Now, Season 3's key art was definitely the worst from this chapter. It's just a bunch of characters running into a temple of some kind. And Optimus I've Prime come. is there now. Like, it, it's fine, but I don't know. It, I just don't really like it. Last Resort had a really good key art when it showed a bunch of the Battle Pass stuff as well as the gameplay. But where the hell is Kato Thorn? He's like the main dude of the season. He's like the whole reason 
reason anything happens and he's not even on the poster. Instead, we get whoever the hell this guy is. Like, why is this guy so important all of a sudden? They put the least visually interesting character in the front two seasons in a row. What is up with that? As mentioned earlier, season OG had a really cool key art where they kind of just flipped the original key art over and called it a day, but it works really well. It shows everything about the season as well as the new Battle Pass skins. It just looks really good. However, I am going to give the best key art of chapter four to Mega. I don't know, it just looks really cool. Chapter 5's key arts were all very interesting because no matter what was going on in them, they all looked really grey and desaturated. Season 1 had a great key art which didn't show much of the map for once and instead showed the new train, the new shotgun, ballistic shield, as well as some of the battle pass. It's funny imagining that even Epic knew that the map wasn't really interesting enough to make into a key art, so they kind of just made it on a train instead. Season 2's key art was also really good. It had all the gods on the front as well as the two new biomes and cool split effect that looked really, really good. I can't actually think of much else to say about the key art. It was just really good. Season 3's key art was also really good when it comes to representing the season it comes from. It shows the biomes, POIs, weapons, battle pass skins, as well as the whole theme of the season, that being cars. My only problem is why the hell is Bright Raider on the front? Bright Raider had like one whole text bubble to read this season. Why wasn't Megalodon on the front or even the machinist? Just, just someone that had something to do with the season. Like Megalodon is all the way over there. Now, like imagine if they made a 3D version of this instead. That would have been so much cooler. Like you've got Megalodon, the main villain of the season, as well as the car theme. And in the background, you've got the Wanderer, which would have really added some mystery to the whole season from the beginning. I don't know why I'm getting so heated over some season 3 key art. I think I've hated every single season 3 key art except for chapter 2's. And finally we have Absolute Doom. I think this key art is just overall pretty decent. It shows all the characters of the season except Hope who for some reason even though she's like the main character or something. It also shows some of the powers like Jones's shield, Shuri's claws, Pilverine's claws, and Emma Frost's mind powers. Whatever, it's pretty decent. If I had to choose a favourite from chapter 5, it would probably be season 1. I don't know, it just has this layer of simplicity to it that the others don't really have. Not to mention that it just conveys the whole season in such a good way with a fight on the train. Okay, so in the final round we have chapter 1 season 8, chapter 2 season 3, chapter 3 season 1, chapter 4 season 2, and we have chapter 5 season 1. And the winner is... Okay, I have a tie. I can't choose between Flipped and Underground, okay? I like them too much, which is why you have to choose for me. If you've made it this far into the video, let me know which key art is your favourite. Consider dropping a sub and use code THEBIGCRATE in the Fortnite item shop when Chapter 2 Remix drops this Saturday. Whee!